All right. Good evening. Good evening, Jenny and Blanca. Are you ready for this class? Are you ready for this new topic? Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. How are you? How do you feel today? Good evening. Perfect. You're fine. And Blanca, how do you feel? Bien, ya mejor, gracias a Dios. All right, perfect. Did yes. you enjoy your, your day? In, um, ¿Disfrutaron su día hoy? Yes. Yes. Huh? yes. yes. Perfect. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, the and weather, you? right? It's cold. Yeah, I enjoyed a lot today, this holiday. All right, perfect. You're excited for this new class? Okay, so let, let me share the screen. There you go. Mm -hmm. Here. All right. First of all, thank you for attending the class. And um, if you please uh, have the opportunity to open your camera, it would be great for me. Si tienen la oportunidad de abrir su cámara, sería increíblemente. Sería increíble para mí, okay? Please do it. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. Este, la voy a abrir, pero es que de repente a mí me falla el internet. All right. Y, el, uh -huh. y yo he visto que con la cámara apagada, no. Pero ahorita lo voy a dejar así. A ver, me moví de donde estaba. Entonces voy okay. a ver si me funciona así. Yo, yo igual lo mismo. Ahorita me moví de donde estaba para ver cómo me carga. All right. No problem. It's okay. It's totally okay. Thank you. All right, perfect. Uh, yesterday, we were studying about um, yes or not questions, right? Do you remember? And about, um, let's see, short answers. Are you free? Yes, I am. Or no, I'm not. Okay. Um, yes or not questions with B. So today... Today, we will see another topic about equations as well. But these equations are different. So, let's play this video about equations and let's pay attention. All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome to section two. How do you spend your day? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student. And I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Okay, that's the conversation. Um, the lesson objective is, in this class, participant will develop the listening skills for specific information about daily schedules. All right, for example, here we have Jason and Andrea. So, Jason is asking Andrea, where do you work? What's the meaning of this question? Where do you work? ¿Cuál es el significado, Blanca? Okay, tell us. ¿Cuál me dijo? This one, the first one. Sería, ¿dónde trabajas, Andrea? Mm -hmm. Perfect. I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? ¿Qué haces allí? Es guía turística. Lleva a las personas um, 
tours to countries in South America, eh, las lleva a Sudamérica como Perú. Ok. Es una guía turística. Perfect. How interesting. So, um, where in WH words we use it or we use them when we want to ask for more information. Cuando queremos eh, saber más información acerca de las demás personas, usamos las WH word. Um, who can tell me three WH words, please? Three WH words. Where, what, what? Oh. when. And when, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, um, that topic we studied it um, with simple present. Con el simple present, el presente simple, estudiamos las WH word. Easy, easy, peasy. All right, in this case, I want a Jason and an Andrea, please. Quisiera un, alguien que sea Jason y Andrea. Thank you, Kevin. Kevin and Blanca. All right, Kevin will be Jason and Blanca Andrea. You can start now. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas called Trevor. Oh, really? What do you do there? I am a um, Gaudi in take people on tours to countries in South America like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's green. Hope I love in and what do you do? I am a student. I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? And a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven or Heaven. Heaven, Heaven. Heaven. All right. In this case, this word is cook. Okay. Cocinar o la, la eh, viaja con la cocina de Thomas. Sería Thomas Cook Travel. Es como una marca de donde llevan a las personas, ¿verdad? Es un nombre propio. Let's see. Part-time es un trabajo de medio tiempo. Part-time job. And then fast food, heaven, let's see. And great. Yes, it's a great job. Es un trabajo grandioso. Great, grandioso. All right. Perfect. Okay. Simple present WH questions and statements. Okay, but miss, what does it mean? ¿Qué significa eso? Okay, lo vamos a ver en este video. Donde lo, nos van a explicar mejor. Perfect. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use simple present. Simple present WH questions and statements. What do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. I, you work take study teach do go have he she works takes studies teaches does goes has now that you have watched the video, I'm sure you noticed the changes on the verbs when talking on third person singular. For example, we say, I, you work, he, she works. I, you take, he, she takes. This inflection happens only in third person singular affirmative sentences. 
Also, take note that when we ask any type of questions in simple present, as in this case we're using WH question words, we must use the auxiliary do for I, you, we, they, and thus for he, she, it. When we put everything together, this is how the structure will look like. We have WH question word plus auxiliary plus the subject plus the verb in its base form plus complement plus question mark. Now, what I want you to do is to type in a WH simple present question in our discussion box. All right. There we have the explanation about simple present and WH equations. Okay, básicamente, eh, WH word is esta, esta palabrita, ¿verdad? What, where, when. Okay, um, for example, here we have the answers as well. I am, am a student and I have a part job. But look at this difference. Cuando utilizamos I and you, eh, el verbo puede ir en la forma normal. Pero cuando utilizamos she, he, and it, utilizamos la S. ¿Ok? Mm, yo creo que ya, ya teníamos ese conocimiento, ¿verdad? Acerca de que el verbo cambia. Así que, eh, for example, here we have... Where does Andrea work? Para lo, el singular nosotros utilizamos un, um, un auxiliar diferente. Cuando utilizamos I, you, we, and they, utilizamos do. You, do you remember that, right? And cuando utilizamos does, es porque nuestro sujeto es en singular. Y en este caso sería she, he, and it. All right. So, for example, I want to ask Blanca, when do we use das? ¿Con qué, eh, ¿Con qué sujetos utilizamos das? Con los singulares, she y he. Ajá, and it. And it. Mm -hmm, perfect. And you? I am and you. I <laughs> and you. Eh, also, they and we. They. También esto va en, en, en do. Sí. Ah, sí. ok. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. I think in the previous course, you, you saw that, right? Creo que en el, en el curso anterior eh, vieron, vieron esas reglas o oh, estoy equivocada. Solamente para asegurarme y, y poderles explicar. Si no los han visto, yo les explico con todo gusto. Ok, han visto eso ya, ¿verdad? Las reglas del simple present. Sí, la vimos, pero nos podría refrescar, ¿verdad? <risa> si no lo mismo, <risa> creo que sería mejor que nos refrescar un poquito más. Ok. ¿En Altagracia? Sí, iba a decir? Eh, sí, estaba un poco confundida eh, con lo de los verbos irregulares también que estuvimos viendo. All mm. right, los, sí, los mm -hmm. verbos irregulares. Sí. Perfect. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, ok. Si nos puede ayudar. Yeah, si yeah. Como dice la compañera, estaría perfecto. Of course I can. Of course I can. Perfect. Eh, let's see. Se me ha perdido el cursor. Espérenme. Ay. Se me ha perdido. Voy a, a, voy a parar de... Ok. Ok, I think I have... Another here, let's see. Okay. Ay, se me ha perdido lo siento. All right, here we have. Perfect. I want to share with you another presentation about irregular verbs. Acerca de los verbos irregulares. Así que voy a abrir esta presentación solo para poderles refrescar esa regla. Give me a moment, please. 
I'd have it here. See. Okay, here we have. Okay. Okay, lo, lo que les quiero eh, presentar es esta. Okay, irregular verbs. Ok, we have irregular verbs, for example, cuando estamos hablando en la, con la tercera persona singular. Siempre con la tercera persona singular, que es he, she, and it. Ok, so for example, we have work, but with a th third person singular, we use works. Eat, eats. Play, plays. Swim, swims. Right, right. Okay, in general. But verbs ending in consonant Y, nosotros quitamos la, la doble, let's see, la, la Y, quitamos la Y y ponemos IES. Okay, every single verb, study, studies. Cry, cries. Try, tries. Spy, spies, fly, flies. For example, here, study, estudiar, ¿verdad? Cry, llorar, try, tratar, spy, espiar, fly, volar. Así que si se fijan acá, removemos la Y. Siempre, estas son las reglas. Eh, que tengamos una, un verbo así, vamos a gritar, quitar la, do, la, la Y y vamos a poner Y. E -S. Ok, con los verbos que terminan en O, S, H, T, C, H, X, o double S, vamos a agregar E, S. Por ejemplo, go, we say goes. Wash, washes. Watch, watches. Mix, mixes, and kiss, kisses. Ok, this verb, va, oír. Wash, eh, lavar. Watch, ver televisión. Watch, mix, eh, mezclar. And kiss, besar. So, here we have this object. I, you, we, and they. Con estos utilizamos el verbo eh, en las oraciones positivas. Las utilizamos eh, con normal. I have, we have. But, in this case, we have she, he, and it. She has a motorcycle. We don't say she have. She have. We say she has a motorcycle. Ella tiene una motocicleta. Es el mismo significado, pero el verbo cambia. So, here, he studies every day. We don't say he study every day. She watches her favorite movie. Siempre agregamos ES al verbo o S nada más o removemos la Y y ponemos I, E, N, S. Ok. Uh, basically, that's the, the rule. Esa es la regla. So now you got it a little bit better. Ahora lo entienden un poquito más. Se les sí. refresco. La memoria. Perfect. Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. All right. Yes. Excellent. Anytime you want. Okay, so, in this case, por eso, por eso tenemos acá I, you, utilizamos el verbo normal. Pero ya si tenemos she, he, and it, we change the verb. We add S or we add I, E, S. In this case, look at this difference. Study, studies. All right. Ahora, eh, de igual forma, do, lo vamos a utilizar con I, you, 
let's say, uh, are you, we, and they. And does para la tercera persona, she, he, and it. So, for example, here we have, where does she work? Where does she work? Okay, for example, she works in, a, in an office or at the office. It's better. At the office. Ella trabaja en la oficina. Oh, but we have which school? So she works in the school. At the school. She works at the school. Ok, ella trabaja en la escuela. Ok, ¿cuál escuela? Which, ¿cuál escuela? For example, um, which school? At, let's see, John, Adam, wait. Adams School. John Adams School. Ok, ¿cuál escuela? A John Adams School. Algo más específico. O sea, hay muchas escuelas, pero nos está preguntando cuál escuela. So, here we have, how does she like it? ¿Qué tanto le gusta? How does she like it? She loves it. Ella lo ama. Ama ese trabajo. All right. Um, here we have the same example. How does she like it? In this case, we can say as well, how does he like it? Y si se fijan acá, tenemos eh, el verbo acá. ¿Por qué me va a decir usted? ¿Por qué no le agregamos la S a este verbo? All right. Because we are using the auxiliary. Porque estamos utilizando el auxiliar. En las preguntas, como utilizamos el auxiliar, aunque estemos usando la tercera persona, vamos a agregar nada más eh, el verbo sin cambiarle. Ya acá, yo quise ponerla. Ella ama el trabajo. Ella lo ama. So, he loves it. Es en positivo. So, I add the S here. So, for example... What does she do exactly? ¿Qué hace ella exactamente? Okay. Remember, this uh, question means what does, uh, or if she works, if she study. Esta oración significa si ella trabaja o si ella estudia. No nos está preguntando eh, qué hace de, de almuerzo, qué hace de de cena, sino a qué se dedica. So, ¿cómo podríamos responder a esta oración? What does she do exactly? We can say, she is a nurse. Remember, lo, las, las profesiones... ¿Se recuerdan de las profesiones? All right. Ella es enfermera. She's a nurse. All right. And where is she from? Where is she from? Mm -hmm. How would be how would it be the example? It's from hospital. Eh, let's see. Nos está preguntando eh, de qué país, de qué... Es. From, from México. Is from Mexico or she is from US. And what do you do exactly? For example, here we have dog walker. Eh, ¿Me escuchan? Yes, okay, 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 perfect. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. The walker, what do you do exactly? We can say, I am a dog walker. Soy un pasador de perros. 
¿Ok? Nos está preguntando a qué nos dedicamos. What do you do exactly? Exactamente. O oh, you can say, I am an architect. I am a plumber. Un plomero. I am a taxi driver. And all of that. All right. To give more information about you. So do you have a question so far? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta acerca de el simple present and statements? No questions? All right. Nice, nice, nice. No, miss. Uh, teacher. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Este... <laughs> Ahí donde puso hello en la otra. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah. sorry. Here. Mm -hmm. Ahí donde puso she loves it, podría haber puesto she does love it. Mm. All right. It's not that correct, but it, it, it is not incorrect. De hecho, sí se puede poner, pero cuando queremos decir... O queremos afirmar. Pero no, yo no se lo recomiendo, por ejemplo, eh, que lo vayan a utilizar en la plataforma o algo así, porque es más informal. Sí se puede, de hecho, es, es eh, pero es informal. Por ejemplo, she does love it. Se puede, pero cuando decimos, eh, por ejemplo, acá, ¿verdad? Porque tenemos she. Ok, ¿cómo le gusta? Ella sí lo, lo ama, pero en este caso no tiene sentido. No tiene sentido. Si dijera acá también, love. How does she love it? He, she does love it. Ella sí lo ama. Pero no nos está preguntando eso exactamente. Ok. Digamos, si acá dijera, does she love it? Así. Does she love it? She does love it. Ella sí lo ama. O ama su trabajo, ¿verdad? Estamos hablando del trabajo. So, but, but in this case, no. Just, she loves it. ¿Ok? La verdad es que eh, es, es bien raro, aunque los nativos lo dicen mucho. I do like, ellos dicen I do like it. Sí, realmente sí me gusta. Cuando queremos enfatizar nada más. Pero eh, cuando... Estamos siendo evaluados en un examen. No lo podemos utilizar porque es una manera muy informal. ¿Ok? Ok, de hecho, es que tuve así como, como la idea que ya lo había visto así, pero gracias. Ok, sí. Sí, de hecho, se, se ve algunas veces si nosotros seguimos, por ejemplo, a personas nativas, ellos lo utilizan. Así que no se sorprendan cuando, cuando alguien lo utilice porque sí... Está correctamente, pero es más un modismo, algo muy informal. So, only she loves it. Right. Uh, here we have what Tanja do. ¿Qué es lo que debemos poner? ¿Qué falta ahí para que sea una pregunta? Uh -huh. ¿Ya? Das. das, yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. thank you. What does, what does Tanja do? Okay, she's a teacher. Nos podemos guiar también por la respuesta. Si acá no sabemos qué decir, she's a teacher. Okay, entonces me está preguntando a qué se dedica. Falta el auxiliar. Um, she, an art class. Okay, in this case... An art class at the school in Denver. Clase de arte, de, I'm sorry, de arte en la escuela en Denver. Do, Miss. Uh, let's see, for Ella example. Do. Does. Does, siempre. Mm, Pero yeah, es que se refiere yeah. a qué es lo que desarrolla ella. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. Hace es una clase de, es profesora, dice, mm -hmm, de arte. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can yeah. say does or 
we can say teaches. Mm -hmm. Ella eh, enseña. Ella enseña. She teaches an art class at the school in Denver. All right. Then we have... Um, and Google. what about Ryan? Where? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Does he work? Does. Thank you. Where does he work? Look at this. Tenemos acá work, no works. Con, con as. Porque estamos utilizando el auxiliar. So then. He for a big computer company. Works. Mm -hmm. Works. Exactly. Works. He works for a big computer company in San Francisco. So the next one. Does he do exactly? What? Mm -hmm. well. What? ¿Qué hace él exactamente? He's a web, a website designer. Let's see. And he fantastic websites. In this case, how would it be? Creative. Um, ¿Sí? ten, tendría yeah. que ser un verbo. He. ¿Sí? No. El cero está. ¿Es? De crear. No. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, create. Oh. Or we can say design, create, I'm sorry, oh, create, yes. here, create, or yes. designs. Con S. Acá yes. agregamos la S a los verbos porque yes. estamos hablando en forma positiva y es el simple yes. present. Okay. Mm -hmm. He creates or he designs fantastic websites. Okay. Perfect. Then we have here famous people. <laughs> we have Lionel Messi. Okay. Can someone please read this paragraph about Lionel Messi? Jenny, yeah, you can do it. Thank you. Lionel Messi is a football player from Argentina who plays from PC or football club Barcelona. Barcelona. He won the Ballon d'Or, the annual awards given to the best player in the world seven times. Seven times. Thank you. And we want to read Shakira, Shakira biography. La biografía de Shakira, who wants to read it? Please, a volunteer. Me. All right, do it. Shakira, Please. her father is from Lebanon and her mother is from Colombia. Started dancing at an early age and by age 10 she wrote songs and talking part in talent competitions thank you manuel awesome okay here we have uh, some examples or some uh, questions about them what does he do in este caso ¿Cómo podríamos responder about Lionel Messi? What does he do? He plays soccer. He plays soccer. All right. Yeah, you can say it like that. And you can say he's a football player. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. He's a football player. Es un jugador de fútbol. Um, yeah, you, you can say it like that. Porque como él trabaja de eso, ¿verdad? Okay. In this case, Shakira. What does she do? 
how would you respond to that question? She's a singer. Yeah, perfect. She's a singer. She's a dancer. Uh, all right, perfect. Where is she from? She's from Colombia. Colombia, perfect. And we have that the information about them. Tenemos eh, esa información acerca de ellos. Ya, yeah. o sea, si nos preguntan, pues ya nosotros sabemos cómo responder. All right. Here we have an online practice. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay, WH questions. Dice, choose the correct question for the answers. Okay. Vamos a elegir las, eh, las respuestas, no, las preguntas correctas para la respuesta que nos están dando aquí. Así que la primera, letter A. What is the best question? Where do you go shopping or when do you go shopping? If it says at the weekend. When. When, thank you, perfect. That's right, that's nice. At one o'clock. What? What's the best? What time? What time do you have what lunch? Time? Mm -hmm, perfect. What time? A qué horas? So, esa sería la respuesta o la pregunta. I read the times. What newspaper do you read? Do you read? Mm -hmm. What newspaper do you read? O, o, ¿Cuáles eh, periódicos lees? Porque The Times es, una perio, eh, oh, it's, es un periódico muy reconocido. The Times. Ok. So, no nos está preguntando. No, aquí no tenemos la respuesta de cuándo. Si sería esta pregunta, pues tendríamos aquí. I read... I read it in the morning, I read on weekends, but we have, I read the times. O sea, nos están dando el tipo. So we use, what newspaper do you read? Thank you so much. I walk. How do you go? How do you go to school? Yeah, exactly, exactly. How do you go to school? How do you get to school? I walk. And the club, in this case, how would it be? Where do you play tennis? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Where do you play tennis? Perfect. In the evenings. When? When? Do you watch TV? Excellent. Okay, so here we have the listening, match the answer to the correct equations. Ok, vamos a ver. En la primera. Where do you work? Where do you work? So we use in a hospital. In this case, number two. What do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta mejor? En este caso, let's see, César. All right, César. Number two. What do you do in your free time? Good evening. Hey, good evening. Eh, sería. Um, at the sports center. All right. What do you do in your free time? Mm, are you sure? ¿Qué dicen los demás? I work in a factory. Where do you do in your free time? Are you sure? What about we go swimming? Ajá, uh -huh. we go swimming. You, ustedes. Significa tú y ustedes. All right, perfect. We go swimming. Swimming. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver identificar, Miss, cuando nos están diciendo de tú o usted. All right, in this case, because we don't have here... I work in a factory, it is not 
in your free time. O sea, esta más bien sería si nos preguntan, what do you do? ¿Qué haces? I work in a factory. Es dependiendo del contexto. O hay algún, sí, algunos utilizan eh, you all, significa todos ustedes. Pero en este caso nos podemos guiar por el contexto. What do you do in your free time? En el tiempo libre, pues solo tenemos acá. We go swimming. We can say in the suburbs, as a sandwich. We can say it. All right, number three. What time do you go to work? At 8 o'clock. Thank you, at... Number four. When do you play tennis? At the weekend. At the weekend. When? When do you play tennis? When do you play tennis? At the weekend. When? At the weekend. En el, en el fin de semana practica tennis. All right, number five. Where do you do karate? Where do you do karate? At a sports center. Mm -hmm. Thank you. In this case, center, no center. <laughs> okay, maybe it was a mistake there. Center que significa nada. No, es center. In this center, case. ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. All right. Number six. What do you have for lunch? Sandwich. Mm -hmm. A sandwich. Seven. What do you do? What do you do? A factory. Mm -hmm. I work in a factory. I work in a factory. Then? Where do you live? Where do you live? In the suburbs. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Yes, okay, yes, teacher. Let's suburbs. In the suburbs. Uh, mm -hmm. In the suburbs. Suburbs. Let's suburbs. see, es afuera de la ciudad. Suburbs, okay. Outside Como the el campo, algo mm -hmm. así. Yeah, you can say it like that. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. Any mistake here? Finish. Let's see, check my answers. All right. Correct. Only this one at the sports center. Center. Mm -hmm. It is a mistake there. Solo, solo en, la, en, la, en la palabra. Pero me imagino que porque así lo escribieron. En el centro de, de deportes. All right. Sería de escribirlo así como está entonces, mm -hmm. centro. Sí, así sería. But it's okay. Así está súper bien, ok. Nine out of ten. Perfect. All right, let's see. Ok. I have an activity for you. Choose one famous person and describe him or her. But your classmates are going to guess who is it, asking questions like, where is she from? What does he do? Where do they work? Ok, vamos a elegir una persona famosa y describirla. Eh, por ejemplo, dónde trabaja, de dónde es. Y si tenemos dudas de quién es la persona que usted eligió, 
vamos a hacer preguntas como estas. Is he a singer? Is she a dancer? And, and all of that questions. All of the, those questions. So, do you get the idea? ¿Se entiende la, la idea lo que vamos a hacer? Ok. Uh, no, 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 sí. Sí, ok. Eh, por ejemplo, mañana, eh, mañana. No, hombre, ayer estábamos haciendo una actividad como esa. Remember, with Justin Bieber, with Nayib Bukele, estábamos describiéndolos y hacíamos una pregunta eh, para saber si era esa persona. So, now is your turn. Ahora es su turno de poder describir a esa persona y nosotros los demás vamos a preguntar si, si es correcta la información o si nos, en la persona que creemos y que nos estamos imaginando está correcto con su personaje, el que usted eligió. So, I will give you, let's see, five minutes to that. Maybe it could be your favorite singer, your favorite band. Uh, it could be your favorite um, politic, I think. I don't know. <laughs> so, do it. I will give you some minutes. Tenemos que hacer preguntas, Miss, para que nos adivinen que, a, que, a, a qué nos estamos refiriendo. Ok, in sí. this case, you will describe. En este caso, vamos a describirlos. Quizá no preguntas, sino oraciones. She is 25 years uh -huh. old, or she is from uh -huh. the United States, she is a singer, ok, okay. como pistas. Ok, o como pistas, más. All right. Um, okay. He was he was a famous um, singer of music music ranchera. Okay, ranchera's music. Uh huh. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. Is she? He was. She was, so she sí, passed sí. away. Mm -hmm. Is she Andrea Rivera, I, I think, or Jennifer? Jennifer Rivera, I think, no? No. He, no. He was. He ah, was. he was. Ah. Let's see. Who wants you to answer. ask her? Vicente Fernández. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Altagracia. Okay, remember you have to ask the other person. Tienen que eh, preguntarle a la otra persona si están en lo correcto. Is she, is he, are they dancers? Okay. Okay. Someone is ready? Someone else? Who's ready? Maybe Cesar Asensio, are, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, Miss. Okay, do it. Eh, se, solo describirlo sería. Yeah. Ah, okay. Pero no decimos el nombre. No, I, 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 of course not. Not. Exactly. Ah, okay, man. Okay. Um, He's, um, uh, no, he, he's, he's born, nació, ¿verdad? Born and nació. Mm, uh-huh, uh-huh, he was born. He was born in United States. He's Afro-American. He's a, um, great, a great singer. Okay. 
He's a good dancer. Perfect. Is he Harry Styles? Not right. No. <laughs> he, <laughs> He's British, I think. He, he is a king. That's it. A king. All right. He, he is king of género, ¿cómo se dice? Género de música. Uh, music gender. Uh, music gender of folk life. King of folk. King of pop. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. <laughs> okay. Okay, perfect. I okay. was going to say, I was going to say uh, Bruno Mars. <laughs> mm. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, almost. But he's not king, I think. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, who else is ready? Maybe, Manuel, are you ready? I think you're ready. Not yet, but let me try. <laughs> okay, do it. He was born in El Salvador. He is a famous soccer player. And he has the long hair. Okay. Don't know. He, he is Mágico González. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> he is, right? Yes, he is. I was, I was going to say Madonna. I don't know why. <laughs> He's not from El Salvador. <laughs> no. But thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, okay. Perfect. I don't know too much about football, about soccer. Thank you so much. Um, Edwin Rivas, are you ready? Edwin, Edwin. Hi, eh, teacher. <clears throat> eh, acabo de llegar a la casa, pero vamos a intentarlo. Okay, do it. He's from eh, Portugal. Is mayor uh, player soccer? Okay. Is he? Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Continue. Mayor mayor player soccer. Uh, well, ¿qué más? Is he Ronaldinho? No. All right. <laughs> Ronaldo. Yes, Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Yeah, Portugal, right? Okay. That's right. Hey, Jenny, are you ready? Yes or not? She's a um, singer, actress. And she's Mexican. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mexican she... girl. She is, um, ¿Cómo se dice canto? Eh, ella es cantante. ¿Así? Ajá, pero ¿cantó o perteneció? ¿Cómo eh, se dice? She, she sang with. She, she ella cantó con. With... Timberiche. Timberiche. No, Timberiche. I have no idea. Is she. Rubio. Is she Thalia? Yes, Thalia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have a Thalia fan here. Tenemos una fan de Thalia aquí. <laughs> okay, give me a, a sec, please. Eh, voy a cargar la, la computadora, me está pidiendo carga, so please give me a sec. I'll be back. <laughs> Echame un poquito de salsa, tal vez ahí. Okay, I'm here again. 
Perfect. Is someone missing about this activity? Kevin, no, right? Blanca escribió algo ahí en el grupo. Okay. Let's see. Eh, lo siento, Miss, apague la cámara porque la niña se me ha puesto ajustada un poco. Weird. Okay, don't worry. It's okay. You are taking care of them. Or of her in this case. Um, okay, creo que ya todos, ¿verdad? Todos tuvimos la actividad. Okay. Um, Pretty work. What do you know about y these jobs? Complete the chart, then write sentence about each job. Okay. En este caso, vamos a escribir lo que estas personas hacen. A fly attendant. Una aeromosa. Works for an airline. Assists, eh, assists passengers and serves drinks. In this case, a doctor. Then a teacher. So it is uh, an activity that you have to complete. With your own words, con sus propias palabras eh, y nuestra imaginación, ¿verdad? Lo que nosotros sabemos. Escribamos eh, lo que un doctor y un profesor hace. Estas serían oraciones positivas. In this case, we have works. Don't forget to add an S with um, the verb because it is third person. En la tercera persona, so, al momento de escribir, utilizamos eh, S. Okay, so, I'll give you some minutes. Time is almost over. El tiempo casi se acaba. Les voy a dar unos minutos y luego compartimos nuestras oraciones. All right, time is over. Perfect. Only one person who wants to um, tell with the class, a doctor. What does a doctor do? ¿Qué hace un doctor? Mm -hmm. Works at the hospital. Perfect. 
Gracia Alta Gracia. What eh, is your... Prescripción med medic medic no sé cómo se dice. Medic medic prescription. Medic, med medic prescription. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And a teacher. Um, go to a school. Goes to the school or works at the school. And he or she teaches languages, for example. Or check check exams. <laughs> ¿Verdad? Revisan los exámenes. Perfect. All right. Ella deja tareas, homeworks. Uh -huh. She, let's see, in this case. She shares, she shares uh, homeworks. Ella comparte homeworks. tareas. Exactly. Ok. Thank you so much. Um, esta fue la clase de, de, esta, de esta sesión. Do you have a question? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? ¿Todo mañana claro? no hay clase, Patricia. No, mañana no hay. Eh, sí, gracias, Manuel, por recordarme. Mañana no hay hasta el, el viernes. En vez de mañana va a ser el viernes. So, enjoy your holiday. Y otra cosa. Para el viernes sí voy a necesitar que todos listos y preparados eh, estén porque va a haber un examen de 30 minutos. <ríe> no, no, son bromas. Eh, pero <ríe> quiero, <ríe> quiero mala, que ¿no? por favor, <ríe> y con cámara abierta. <ríe> no, de verdad, eh, por favor, puedan estar listos para encender su cámara. Se los voy a agradecer mucho y, es, y tener a la par un cuaderno. Por si ustedes ven una palabra nueva, la puedan anotar. E incluso a mí me pasa. Yo veo palabras nuevas y digo, bueno, voy a investigar qué significan. Así que, eh, para que no se les olvide esas palabras. So, please, for Friday. It is for Friday. So, thank Thanks you so much. Me. Okay, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Enjoy your holiday and Wonderful. see you on Friday. Bye-bye. 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 Night. Good night. Good night. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Bye-bye.